Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Ruchaha Kwadash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, honors, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, starting with the 144,000 prophets who are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai in all sincerity, diligence, and truth, and to the rest of the men, women, and children that are listening and learning. Staying in the Holy Spirit and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai day in and day out. So, um, and I was uh, just watching uh, the Elder Apostle Tahar's uh, latest video. Uh, the Most High, the Lord, and the angels will be present when your black ass is burning in hell. Um, and he had, um, you know, uh, mentioned how he, uh, you know, looked up the original Planet of the Apes and what year it was set in, which. It was set in, I believe, 3,978, and it came out in 1968. So it was set about 2,010 years after, um, like 2,010 years um, after it, you know, was released. And uh, you know, he made the uh, com the, the the comparison of um, Hosea because these devils, you know, they 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 do a diligent search. All right, <laughs> they talking about the elites of this society which the ones of the um you know screenwriters people in hollywood they deal with left-handed um you know witchcraft okay uh they deal with left-handed demons and demons uh means intelligence okay even um the apostle james uh said what that uh you know the the, the demons or the devils believe in fear okay and um you had that one incident where the uh, sons of Sceva said what to Paul? Yeah, uh, uh, not said it to Paul, but sorry, said it to those uh, false. Um, yeah, the sons of Sceva was trying to cast out a devil and the demon said unto them, uh, Paul, I know, Yahweh Shai, I know, but who are you? So I say all that to say that uh, uh, these screenwriters and directors, uh, something, you know, they have inside knowledge of of uh, prophecies because they also deal with demons. All right, on on the left hand side, um, dip being in in Hollywood and knowing that that's you know nothing but uh, uh, witchcraft that goes on you know over there in that city. Um, but as I was saying, uh, as the apostle Tahar has said that they said it two thousand over 2000 years after it came out like 2010 years after it came out because of um the prophecy in Hosea which it says um after two two days the lord will um you know revive us and it made me remember the last time I went to the movies I seen a, a poster for the new planet of the apes that is coming out which is called uh the kingdom of the planet of the apes and if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be coming out this year in uh, on Memorial Day, so the end of May. So I just you know typed in. So once I you know once that got brought back to my memory, I just you know typed in uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and here's a teaser trailer uh, from 20th Century Studios. So let's uh, watch this. Oh, and um, fair use. All right, uh, for you know and this is for educational purposes all right uh you know for copyright not for copyright uh you know infringement when i sleep i see strange things memories not memories And I just wanted to stop it right there because um, <laughs> you obviously you hear voices of men speaking, but this is actually two apes talking to each other. And the one ape said, when I sleep, I see strange things. And the other ape said unto him, memories as a question. Okay. And why would it be uh, something strange as a memory? Or why would he ask, would it be a memory? Because... As you can see, the whole land that this, uh, uh, the whole earth right now does not look like the earth that 
uh, uh, you know, we currently are living in, all right, or the earth that when the apes came into power, you know, uh, uh, they they arose from, all right? And and the scriptures tells us that, um, let me pull it up. Let me see if I can get that real quick. That when, um, when we are in the kingdom, that this current age that we're in is going to seem like a bad dream, you know, and then me and a few brothers was talking uh, on on Saturday uh, at the Feast of the Parim about how really when you, you know, when you uh, think about the transition from here into the kingdom, you have to, and this is something that I've just started doing, you know, uh, as a late you have to realize that it is it's it's a succession of days like today is January 30th. Tomorrow is January 31st, so on and so forth. And eventually, as the days progress, it's going to be the day of the Lord. Right. And then the next day after that is the kingdom of heaven. But two weeks prior, we were still in. The kingdom of Esau. Okay. So if you are following me, the sun and the moon, remember, those are given as ordinances, you know, for time. The kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth. So as the days continue to progress, let's say there's a month into the kingdom, we're going to be able to remember six months ago <laughs> when we were in. You know, uh, the kingdom of Esau and, and, and whether you're in Babylon or great or where, wherever you were, were at, we're still going to remember that a month into the kingdom. But as time progresses, obviously, we're going to have those new bodies. Uh, Lord willing, we'll be a part of that elect. Right. We're going to be immortals. So as time progresses, it, it's time that it's on the uh, that is on the earth. OK, so eventually after the days turns into weeks and the weeks turns into months now obviously the what, what is constitutes as a month in the kingdom is not going to be what we know it to be now just like you know a few hundred years ago what constitutes as a month uh back then wasn't considered is not considered a month now okay you have the uh you had the julian calendar you have the Gregor, uh you know you have the gregorian calendar right before that you had other calendars so in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to have the Hebrew calendar, right? That's going to govern the earth. But as time progresses, so days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, months turn into years, but we're still immortals. It's going to get to a point where eventually we're going to be thousands of years into the kingdom. And it's still going to be those same men that or eventually, and this, you know, the same women uh, that are part of the elect that gets translated into the kingdom, they're going to have uh, uh, um, memories of earlier, you know, years, <laughs> or earlier thousand years. But trying to remember, and when we do it now, trying to remember something that happened to you five, six years ago, unless it was like a core memory. It's very hard to remember every single detail. But and that's only five, six years ago. So you times that by five, six thousand years ago. You're not going to be able to remember. What it was like being in Babylon the Great, and that's why the scripture says this here. Um, where is it? Um, in the book of. Psalms, where is it at? Let me just type in pass dream, see what comes up. Nope. Is it Psalms 35? It might be Psalms 37. Let me see if it's Psalms 37. Yeah, Psalms chapter 37 
verse 35. It says, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. And that's what we are seeing right now. Yet he passed away and lo, he was not. Yeah, I sought him, but he could not be found. Because eventually Esau, Edom, the wicked is going to be taken off of the earth. But even before he's actually taken off of the earth, the seed of Esau is taken off of the earth. What he has set up on the earth, all right, uh, his his way of being on the earth is going to be taken off of the earth. You're not going to have any type of uh, uh, remembrance of the way that life used to be underneath the rulership of Esau, Edom. All right, there's not going to be any relics, no statues. There's not going to be any books, right? There's not going to be any uh, 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 artifacts, right? That is going to say, oh, yeah, this is when Esau was ruling. Not nah, all that is going to be done away with, as it says in the book of first Peter, the third, uh, second Peter, the third chapter, that the uh, earth shall melt and the works therein shall be burned up. The works are the works of, of what? Of this age, the things that were uh, created uh, 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 in this age. All right. The uh, type of civilization that Esau uh, uh, put upon the earth in this age All of that is going to be burnt up Okay There was another scripture But I can't I can't think of it right now um, Where it's basically It talks about Our um, You know Captivity it Basically is going to end up Being, being like a dream Alright Like a bad dream Alright Job 20 verse 8 It says He shall fly away yeah, I mean, we could pull this up. Let's see. Right. Uh, Job chapter 20, verse 7. It says, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have uh, seen him shall say, Where is he? Okay, speaking about the wicked. And not just Esau, him himself passing away, but what he represents. He is the man of sin, right? He is the, the, the man of lawlessness. He is the he is the one that pushed an evil vibration on the earth. So when he passes away, those things pass away as well. That's why the scripture says that uh, there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. It says he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he should be chased away as a vision in the night. There you go. That, that was the one I wanted. Okay. So he's going to be like a, a, a dream or, or a vision in the night. Like when you have a dream and you wake up and you can't remember it, it's very uh, uh, vague, right? It's a foggy, you know, memory that you're trying to trying to piece things together, but you just you just can't seem to, to actually create a picture in your head. Well, that's what it's going to be like eventually as time progresses, you know, from now until each day passes until the day of the Lord and then we get changed and we're in the kingdom and days in the kingdom progresses. This right here is going to be like a uh, a, a, a dream that vanishes when you wake up. So that's why uh, he says it, you know, uh, I have I had a, a dream and then um, he said, what is a memory? He's like, let's go. Let's let's listen to it. Memories. He said, I seen everything. He said, that is not everything. All right. And I'm not too sure exactly what they're speaking about, but I can just, you know, from from something that it made me think of is we're never going to be able to see everything in the kingdom because even by being immortals, the Lord basically Lord gave us <laughs> the, the, the entire universe 
as our domain. And the scripture says that he stretched out the heavens like a curtain. Okay? So, even with immortality, we're never going to actually be able to see everything that the Lord has. Because he is infinite. Hey, man. And that right there, you know, that, that in itself is just like, that's glorious. <laughs> that's that's glorious, man. Esau, he, he can't even go into the depths of the sea. Right? There's parts of the earth that Esau hasn't even, uh, uh, you know, seen. But yet the Lord, our power, Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth, the one and only true living God. All right. He has given unto his son, Yahweh Shai, the dominion over everything. And Yahweh Shai gave joint, uh, uh, made us joint heirs with him in that. And that is the blessing of Abraham Isaac, the blessing of the, the promise to Abraham, the oath unto Isaac, and the in the law unto Jacob. And that's not something that will be shared with other nations. They will they will be in the kingdom of heaven, but they're not going to have dominion, all right, as an Israelite. And that is what salvation really is. Okay, for you guys out there that's saying that heathens are going to be partakers of the covenant. Well, then that means that they're going to have partakers of the promise. They're going to have partakers, be partakers of, of being rulers in the kingdom of heaven. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 1, chapter 4, Salakia, verse, um, I'm going to go straight to the point, verse 3. It says, give not thine honor to another, nor the things which, that, uh, which are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. All right. This is the honor that the Lord gave unto our forefathers. And he and, and we in and, and the elect are not going to give that honor to a strange nation, man. Oh, oh, oh. See, this is what you do. Look at that. It look like a bunch of Edomites running. <laughs> okay, because this is what the kingdom of the planet of, of the planet of the apes. This is uh, this what they're depicting is the apes are in complete rulership. The kingdom has been already established. They have a government. They have everything in order and set up. But I'm sure there's going to be some type of conflict where there's going to be some apes beefing with others. And I, you, you know, you know how this devil tries to switch things up. But at the end of the day, we understand through the spirit that the kingdom of Israel, all right, or what they're trying to show as the kingdom of the of, of the uh, apes is really the the, uh, the kingdom of Israel. Because who did this devil call monkeys? Who do they call apes? They don't call so-called Chinese, so-called Japanese. Uh, 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 they don't even call Hamites apes. It was that was a derogatory statement, uh, uh, particularly over here in the Americas, speaking to the uh, so-called Black Americans, which are the biblical uh, Israelites of the of the Southern Kingdom. So the planet of the apes, as we've always say, is really the planet of the Jakes. Through some apples or something <laughs> to the Edomite chick. <laughs> hey man, they, they like I said, they know, they know exactly, you know what's about to what's about to come.
So, yeah, man, th I just wanted to show that, okay, because, you know, this is the times that we're in, man. We're in the times of the kingdom of heaven, you know, about to be established on the earth, all right? And we're going to have dominion over all nations. All right, so let me just get this scripture here in the book of Psalms 149, verse 5. It says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. All right, you heard what that uh, that uh, one ape said. It looked like he was some type of ruler because he had a crown on his head, right? What a wonderful day! Right? Hey, what, what a wonderful day. And every day in the kingdom is going to be wonderful. Right? That's why it says here that the saints are going to sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains. All right? The kings that you see right now, the, the, the rulers of the earth right now, they're going to be enchained by the bases of the people of this uh, uh, of this age right now. That's why the scripture says that the Lord brought to naught um, the things that are with things that are, are not, you know, roughly paraphrasing. He chose the bases to, to confound the ones who are on top. Because. Once again, going back to the uh, the, uh, the the thought of right now, days continuing to go to, to progress. Each day goes by, and then ultimately, one of these days is going to be the day of the Lord and the elect, right? The elect of Yahweh Shah. He is coming with majesty and power and glory, right? He is not. He is not coming. You know, lowly. He is coming uh, 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 very, very high as the King of Kings. But he is going to change. His servants and, and the majority of his servants are of a low estate right now. They're not noble. They're not they're not uh, 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 esteemed in this world. They're not rich in this world. They're low uh, men. OK, but those same low men, the Lord is going to set up as kings of the everlasting kingdom. So when the, the ones of the, of the heathens that don't die in the second death, they're going to see their Mark Zuckerbergs. They're going to see their Rothschilds. They're going to see their Rockefellers, right? They're going to see the, uh, the, the Ayatollahs of the Ishmaelite world. They're going to see Xing Xing Ping. They're going to see uh, Boris Johnson and Christine Lagarde. All, they're going to see all of these people that are, you know, that, that escaped the second death. Right, going that you no know, in their bunkers, they want to see their Jeff Bezos get put into chains. But it's not going to be by well, who they see as other rulers. No, it's going to be by people that were they deemed nobodies. It says to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor. Have all his saints praise ye Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, and that honor only belongs to the Israelites, all right, the elect of Israel. And that is not an honor that we are going to give to a strange nation. All right, the kingdom of, of the planet of the apes is the kingdom of Israel. So, like, let me get one more scripture and I'll close it out. Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And that is exactly what Yahweh is coming to do, and it's about to happen very soon. Shalom.